That bus, uh, uh, Duke Carter is on the scene right now. And Duke, they're, they're moving that bus right now, right? Yeah, you have this big uh, tow truck removing the bus that flipped on its side. And uh, as Angie was mentioning, we did hear from a source here from uh, on scene that, that told us uh, from one of the schools, James Singleton Elementary School, that it was about nine kids on the bus and they were all taken to the uh, emergency room. And the source mentioned that none of the kids are in critical condition. So we're hoping to hear from NOPD to make sure that that information, what this source is saying, uh, is correct. But the kids are apparently were going to James Singleton Elementary School. Now, as far how the bus got onto its side. That's a question that still is up in the air. We don't know how that happened, but as you can see, traffic is backed up here at the foot of the high rise going towards uh, the city. So if you're trying to get into the city right now, if you're coming from Slidell, if you're coming from New Orleans East, you might want to find an alternate route. Avoid I-10 altogether. Your best bet is to avoid I-10 and get back on at Franklin and continue on your journey. But with the situation here, we don't know what time this happened. We do know it does involve students at James uh, Singleton Elementary School. That is, I believe that's in Central City, according to a source that was here on scene. We were told by the source that it was nine students who uh, were, were on the bus at the time that were hurt. Uh, excuse me, nine students on the bus. They were taken to the emergency room, and the source says that none of the kids were seriously hurt. She's grateful for that. But as of right now, we're just waiting to get more information from NOPD to find out, again, Again, how did the school bus get on its side here at the foot of the high rise guys and Duke if you can you know just recap this one more time were there other cars involved and we still do not know how that bus wound up on its side correct you're exactly right, Eric. We don't know exactly how the bus wound up on this side. What you're seeing right now is this tow truck actually well, was pushing uh, the the, uh, the school bus. The school bus was in its far left lane when I arrived here on scene, and now it seems to be in the right lane. Uh, but as far as the uh, vehicle involved, we did see two other vehicles. We're still waiting to get confirmation on NOPD if there were two other vehicles that led to this accident or if they were just hit by the bus and were involved in this accident. But we did see two other vehicles. Uh, two other vehicles involved in this accident. We're just uh, getting confirmation from NOPD to find out how exactly were they involved with this. All right. Well, hopefully those kids are going to be okay. Thank you very much, Duke. We'll be on this uh, all morning long.